awkward if you turn it off and turn it back on again. So yeah, sorry, I kind of sorry, man. I kind of forgot that we have the session. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. So um, before we start, I would want to to know your status in Dota, like your uh, current MMR, MMR, your position, uh -huh. and uh, your goals. Okay. Um, my current MMR is fifty eight hundred. Um, mm -hmm. I, my positions are one and three. Um, mm -hmm. so let's see my goals, huh? I don't know. I, I guess just reach like 7k, 8k. Okay. Oh, 7K. I, I have to get to, 6, I have to get to 6k first, but like, I think I've, I've reached 6k before and, and, and then I just dropped down. So, okay. Uh, okay. It will uh, break down to sm some small things then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so I don't think there's generally like, I've never have asked for coaching before. At all, so you're like my first ever coach. Um, I just like whenever I want to get improved and stuff, I usually just watch like a pro player's perspective mm -hmm. and then just copy what they do, mm -hmm. right, to the general sense. Um, but then, but then I, I haven't, I haven't, I just started getting back to Dota recently. I've stopped. I, I think, I think I cold stopped playing Dota for like I think three to four months, mm -hmm. and then playing ranked, stopped playing ranked for like almost I think eight to nine months. I think. Okay. Um. So I recently just got back to playing ranked. Um. I re playing carry. Mm -hmm. Um. Hey, let me. S do you want me to stream or? I think uh, I should. I I will stream. So uh, you could give me the match ID and I will just sure. stream it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Okay. Um. So I've won every single one of my past games, but mm -hmm. like I did horrible in my laning stage. So laning stage is definitely one of the things I could improve on. Uh. Let's see. My Monkey King games. I play carry mainly um and then there's like two games where i played offlane mm -hmm. i don't think i played so this is one of my first monkey king games we could get through this one and if you have some time we could get through a uh, part of other one yeah sure so you're playing monkey king here yep that's a pretty good matchup for you yeah uh I think it was. I forget what happened. And I don't. I don't think I did that well in this lane. I don't think in these all three of these Monkey King games, I like sucked shit in the laning stage. Okay. Um. Well, I wouldn't say sucked shit, but it's more so like I could be doing a lot better, right? Like I'm, I, I'm keep missing easy CS and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. I just want to like ask like a better player and what their viewpoint is and what I could be doing better, right? Sure. Um. So. Yeah, we can go over the tight hunter game. So okay, so I like I I actually liked your uh, uh, orb. I don't know why would you switch to this because mm -hmm. against tight hunter you want to dominate him. It would make a right. lot of sense if you would just go for yeah. the orb. Over okay. Is there any is there any point where I should have a fluffy hat or not? Just mm. orb always. I feel like in some games that you would want to go for a corrosive uh, orb, mm -hmm. okay. Then it would make sense to go for this, but uh, I guess I, I always go cross uh, orb mm -hmm. corrosion. That's why. Mm -hmm. That's why I always on Monkey King. I always go. It. So. Okay, uh, it would make like much more sense in this game to go for orb mm -hmm. because yeah. because of the good matchup you have, Got it. and uh, also like. This doesn't help you too much on the lane, and it costs mm -hmm. like 250, and it would make much sense otherwise to just buy a lot more uh, stats. Okay, okay, yeah, got it. Yeah. So I uh, like when playing Pangolier, when I know that I will go for the corrosive orb, mm -hmm. I will just go for the fluffy hat sometimes mm. to uh -huh. kind of like compensate for my lack of HP. But uh, uh -huh. as a Monkey King, you have pretty good stats early and. Yeah, pretty good matchup okay. would, would allow you to just go orb. Okay. I feel like you 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 are not forced to go orb every game. Right. I feel like most of the times it would make a lot more sense to just stay with the orb of venom. Or if uh -huh. you never buy orb of venom, it would also be fine, right? Okay. Okay. Got it. So so, uh, uh, so if I if I'm not going to go orb of corrosion, you you recommend I go like a sta like a circlet essentially. Yeah, and go yeah, yeah, yeah. Transition to wraith band, right? Okay. Circlet or stick stick would be 
amazing okay. on this lane. This guy spams. Yeah, I agree. This I agree. This guy spams. I, I, yeah, I wonder by a stick. But... Yeah. And Orb of Corrosion is like, you know, fighting item. And if you invest that money uh, into this item instead of like uh, Maelstrom, you kind of like, mm -hmm. you're getting, you're investing it in, uh, like, you, you could have invested in, in Javelin and get the Maelstrom faster and then you get other items faster as well. So this right. item just kind of helps you dominate the lane. Okay, okay. So, I like that you're focusing on the creeps. You don't really want to just go on him, you want to trade with your Ogre. Like, I feel like right. Ogre should stay with you, because the lane is fine. Like, lane is not pushing too much. Uh, no, my Ogre, all my, I think all my Ogre did was pull this game. <laughs> So. Yeah, you, you this this lane. I feel like you should be dominating them. Like even this undying. Like when you see the, the lane like this. Like if you have orb already, and mm -hmm. then you just get the stick. Right. Yeah. Uh, I feel like that would be a bit better. But overall. Yeah, I agree. I agree. If if you see this ogre is doing a mistake, mm -hmm. you can be. Uh, you can be just. Uh, Calling him over here, over to you, uh, so mm -hmm. he helps yeah. you laning. And if he doesn't do that, well, you can you can still lane here. It doesn't kind of, doesn't break your game too much, uh, but it would be a lot more helpful if uh, he would be here because early on Ogre has a lot of good stat, like best probably one of the best stats in the game. Yeah. For region plus armor, and he can just uh, be with you and you trade together against them. Get the resources out. This guy like has nothing. This guy has self, so just kind of get the self yeah. out, trade the selves, and you both have like six, seven armor, six armor. You just okay, even seven armor. You just trade together, and yeah. And right yeah, now, yeah, no, kinda... my ogre is playing passive, so ah, uh... you're kind of like not not so happy right now. You could have been more yeah. happier if. Like, yeah. you could have prevented this guy from farming, and you could have uh, also farmed a bit more, if this ogre yeah, yeah. helps you. I agree. So, I like that you stun him. It's good. Another thing you could be doing is mischief. Uh -huh. Uh You could be mischiefing either uh, the gosh. It's very hard, but it's yeah. possible. Or his uh, anchor smash, like one of Got those. It. Yeah, yeah I, I should try doing that for the anchor smash. Yep. One of the shittiest thing is like I missed I missed creeps under tower. So um, it's like the yeah, uh, it's usually uh, for these creeps like if you have uh, a very big uh, attack damage, you just get the cooling blade on the ground, hit them once, and okay. uh, then you last hit it because tower tower okay. will do their job. And for Range creeps, you don't need to do anything, you just uh, kind of need to last yeah. them after that. Yeah, something like this. So you hit them once, if they're full HP, and then, yeah, yeah you just last hit them. I feel like here, uh, if I would see like this this guy's solo HP, I would just go for it. I would just go for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just scared of the undying and the tide jumping on me. And at this point, I just don't trust this ogre whatsoever. Okay. Right? Like, it took him so long just to like. Come kill the undying. I mm -hmm. think I solo killed this undying, mm -hmm. right? So like that's how passive. I was telling him to like, yo, can we kill him? So mm -hmm. and he didn't. He didn't come. So okay. Uh, after this replay, I would want to watch one game with you with the uh, similar matchup where the epileptic kid is playing. Would you be interested? Sure. No, no, I'm perfectly fine. I I much rather watch like pro players play them. Watch my own replay. But I, for these kind of things, I just want to like know what you're like. Yeah. opinion is right what mm -hmm. i could be doing better but normally i don't i rarely watch my own replay mm -hmm. so. yeah that's fine that's fine you have a good strategy to you just kind of learn learn dota just by playing like one hero and then when you're at the highest level like at the immortal then you can kind of start learning how this truly played this yeah, kind of stuff exactly so exactly i feel you it's a good strategy don't worry about it too much so, yeah, again, stick is like four minutes too late. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree. When I bought the stick, I'm like, okay, it's, it's just kind of too late. <laughs> yeah, but still, it's fine. So, one hit. 
you could you could uh, if you need some practice to get last hits under the tower like you could mm -hmm. just go in lobby like you could like to not spend too much time so just go here mm -hmm. uh no, no 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 heroes global items terrain and just here would be the button to demo train okay, okay and okay, okay. yeah you just get it there without uh, spending time on getting yeah, to yeah. lobby and got it got it okay you just practice it if you feel like it if you don't just yeah go for it so we're yeah. going for this tight yeah that's that's what what should happen should have happened like from minute uh zero to be honest <laughs> zero yeah or, no, i agree we had the stronger stronger draft stronger like lane so. yep i like it that you go boots like in this lane i would go something like orbo venom then stick then mm. boots and then okay. maybe i would uh, choose if i would want to go corrosion or not okay okay so let's see everything's fine now you're farming you're happy tide is not happy he's only level three like still, even though you made so many mistakes, you're still like level six against level three. Like you're quite happy with the like. No, I agree. With what happened. I say I messed up in lane, but like this tide like wasn't also wasn't very happy. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're denied this wave here. Okay, I like I like what you, what I see. This is pretty good. So So at what point you would want to rotate? Uh I think there was like a couple of times where I could have rotate. Um but I usually rotate when the enemy is like pushing. Mhm. Mm no, not pushing but diving my like other two lanes mm -hmm. like at the tower. Mm -hmm. Generally that's when I would rotate. Um like um not this game, but there was this game. I think it was the last ID that I gave you, where the ogre was diving my uh, I think Zeus, and mm -hmm. I had to TP in, and like I was getting shot on in lane. So generally, when my team's getting dove on, I'll gen just okay. TP, get some free kills. Yeah, that's a good so. approach. Approach. I feel like um, uh, you would want to rotate to something, not mm -hmm. not just rotating. Like either like there is so many enemies coming to you, but you're man kicking, you kind of can uh, kill them uh -huh. uh, with with the help of your teammates, with the help of uh, your Abaddon, your Wind Ranger. So right. uh, until that point, you can stay on the lane because if you're staying on the lane, like this Tide Hunter, what he, what he needs to do? Let's see. He's just trying to stay on the lane. He's trying to get like the wave back but you're not letting right. him and just by doing this like you're denying the lane from him completely right and he he doesn't have too much space to farm he needs to farm this inefficient big camp right yeah so i like it a lot and then uh -huh. when you deal with the catapult at minute 10 or if mm -hmm. there's too many heroes you could rotate like you deal with okay, the catapult yeah. and then you rotate bottom to okay. use your okay, own so catapult I... okay so do you do you generally work so like, do you generally recommend me rotating at level ten? Like, let's say for example, top minute, lane. I'm top yeah, lane. Yeah, minute ten. Like, just minute use ten. catapults. Yes. Right. So either I push my lane with my catapult, or if there's so many heroes, I rotate bottom essentially, mm. or like rotate the other two lanes. Right. Um. No. 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 So I don't want. No. I don't want you to push your your own lane. I want you okay. to deal with enemies' catapults, so they cannot deal with your tower okay. as quick. Okay. Okay. And then you just go bottom and push okay. it with with your lane. So. You make right. it, uh, so what happens, you make it impossible for them to push, you can deny this, mm -hmm. and uh -huh. you push yourself. Okay. And so they kind of like, they need to choose. If they're weak enough, like, you see this Tide Hunter is very weak, right. he won't be able to defend this, and you also, like, you force enemies to go bottom. But if you're strong, if you're, like, four here, and then you have Wind Ranger with TP somewhere near, then... You're you're quite happy with this, you, like okay. either either enemies fight you when they're weak, and you win the fight, or uh, if you feel like they're not so weak, they're strong, then you just made like made them rotate to the their uh, dead lane, and they're four mm -hmm. here, they're staying as four here, and mm -hmm. there is like one camp 
two camps, and there is a lane. Like, not enough right. farm for everyone, so this okay. is a win-win for you. Okay, okay. Got it. So, let's see. Happens next. Yeah, but by this time, like, instead of Corrosion, you could have had, uh, like, either Mithril javelin? Hammer or Javelin. Yeah. Yeah. It's the, like, right now, I, I th thought about going bottom, like... You're but thinking then, about like, it, right? You're just looking yeah, I, over I, it. Yeah, I was just I thought about going bottom. And I literally pondered if I should mm -hmm. whether I should push my lane or go bottom and help them. And but then like as soon as I look bottom, it's already a disaster. So I just yeah. choose to ignore it. So so uh, how often do you look at the minimap? Um, I how do I put this? I generally do it a lot of times. Uh, I usually when you when you say minimap, do you mean like the actual minimap or like do I look around minimap? Using the just minimap? just the minimap. I I I I look around them pretty often. Like I can I can see ganks. The only time I say I don't really look around as often is probably early game where I'm too focused on my mm -hmm. own laning stage, mm -hmm. which it's like which needs a work. Mm -hmm. Um, but then generally in the mid game where it's just like mindless farming, I can. I always am like checking minimap pretty much like every like a couple of seconds. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's that's good enough approach for me. So at uh, from uh, let's say you need to look at minimap when uh, like from minute four I say from minute four or five you you start looking at it every like yeah. five seconds is good enough for me to track like uh, mid laner yeah, if you can and enemy movements right exactly yeah, yeah, and where yeah, they're yeah. like where if they're missing or like where they were last seen seen and stuff. So yep. And then um, I feel like when when you're looking at the minimap, you can look at it with purpose, right? Mm -hmm. So your purpose would be to see heroes that can threat you, that can kill you, if they're showing or not. Yeah. Do they show on the minimap? <laughs> Do, does this uh, co-op can which can threat you with Tithe Hunter showing on the minimap or not? Mm -hmm. And then uh, this kind of like you're looking. Okay, co-op is not showing. Where can she be? You, you might right. ask your teammates, you can be playing a little bit safer. Yeah. And avoid ganks just by looking at the minimap. So another mm -hmm. another thing I, I would want my carry to do. So here, you can see this pop. She's not there. You can see like three people bottom. You can see that the Tide Hunter is here. So I want you to not focus too much on the scripts. I want you mm -hmm. to have a look like you're just observing over the map and seeing like okay. what's happening on the map you can just right. hover it and see okay can uh, you look over it and see like how can can i help them here right that would be a good time to rotate but if they yeah, yeah. if they need help yeah but then by the time i looked at it it was already a disaster so i just chose not to rotate but yeah one if i looked at it like a, a couple seconds uh earlier I definitely would have rotated. Um, yep. The jug was super low too. Yep. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. This was a moment, like right here, was a moment where I was like, "Shit, should I have? Should I have rotated bottom? Mm -hmm. Right? Like that was what I was thinking. What, okay. what was going into my mind? Mm -hmm. Um. But then, like when I looked bottom, it was already, already too late, so I just decided to go more farm. Um. It's fine. Like sometimes you you just look over it and tell yourself, "Okay, guys, I cannot help you." So you don't right. break your own gameplay. If you would TP there when they're all dead, then it doesn't help you, and it don't, doesn't help them. Yeah, yeah. I feel like in this game, um, usually passive, like level two passive, is good enough. If you feel like staying more, you could make it on three. But usually, you would want to max this, and you don't want to skill uh, ulti until until later into the game. You just want. I skilled. I skilled ulti with the purpose of. Uh, going into fights. That was the reason why I skilled ulti. Mm -hmm. I normally never skill ulti before level 10 or 11. Yep. Um, but then this this game just looked like they're just fucking fighting every like every two seconds. Mm -hmm. So like the next time I ro I rotate, hopefully I have my ulti and then I should win it, right? That's like the reason why I skill my ulti. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, generally I don't. So. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Ju just want to you just want to know your thoughts. yeah yeah you you have fine yeah, yeah. thoughts. Uh. Yeah, like it's better to have this ulti uh, in the fight than not having this ulti. But uh, with like two more skill points in this, you can start farming jungle more efficient, like twice as efficient, right? Yeah, I agree. Um, I think the, in the other two games, I I maxed my W. Yeah. So it's fine. Uh, let's see. Let's 
So right now, like, yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I want to see. Yeah, you you just looking over it. You just looking yeah. and uh, analyzing for yourself. Like, can you be there? Can you not be there? That's like, yeah, that's exactly my thoughts. Exactly what I want from you. So you see, like, four heroes bottom. You place a ward here. That's all right. I guess you're utilizing your own catapult because like you cannot help them bottom at the moment so i think i rotated here yeah if i'm not mistaken after the tower i rotated so so right now your allies are not ready here right yeah. they're not ready enemies but... are ready you still yeah. have a good vision over them but yeah. uh you want your allies to be here in order to protect because if you go like by yourself this is not gonna do anything yeah exactly I think I rotated when my team was just, just like converging. So my one ranger TP'd. Um, mm -hmm. My Abaddon sadly wasn't there. He basically like gave up. <laughs> He's like shit laning stage is like GG go next. Um, I, mean, I think after I take this tower, I TP. Mm -hmm. I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and because you were first to make a move, you, you kind of took the tower first as well. Yeah. And when, when so let's look at this. Kill this guy. You're focusing the tomb. I feel like. Does this work on tomb? I feel. I feel like not. No, a uh, boundless strike? No. Yeah. Or oh, you mean Jingu? Jingu doesn't work as well. No, no, no. So. Uh, the boundless strike. I was feeling like like uh, Pangolier first. On the first. zombies? Yeah, on the zombies. I I I don't think so. I'm not sure. Yeah, I... I'm almost not sure. Because with the tight hunter uh, thing, it. Kinda doesn't work, but with Pango, it works just fine. You, you just kill on this, yeah. all the zombies. So, I kinda, kinda don't know. I feel like it doesn't. That's why I didn't do it. Like, okay. I, but I haven't like tested it at all, so. Yeah, it's... Um, I feel like they're... Uh, yeah. Okay, let's get back for a bit. So, you see this guy jumps. I, I use my boundless strike. Yeah, like it, it you, you don't want to use uh, this like this. It's kind yeah, of yeah. it was a kind of a kill. Yeah, it was, it was definitely a kill with boundless strike. I just <laughs> I was so sad. Whatever, whatever happens. I mean, I live. But yeah, like... you you live, you live. <laughs> uh, so that's why I want you to use this to farm, and right. uh, when it's like you see here, um, like on the minimap, if you see this cop. It just makes more sense, kind of. This is like, you know, post-factum thing, but uh, uh, spending your boundless strike for farming is uh, never a good uh, thing to do. Yeah. I think I, if I use either spells, I would not have gotten the kill, so it's fine. Like, if I mm -hmm. if I use my W to farm, like, I couldn't jump down. Um, if I use my boundless strike, obviously mm -hmm. I used it, and then I couldn't kill him any, either way, so... Okay. I, by the time I was farming, by the time I saw Quap in the map, I already used one of my spells. I already used Bounty Strike, mm -hmm. so that's why I used it. Um, so you... but, but yeah, you're right. I, sh I should have just like did nothing. So. so let's see. If you see them on the map, I feel like you should just, uh, instead of farming the camp, you should already be on this tower and pressure mm. it. Okay. And then once you don't see anyone, like you don't see anyone right now, you just kind of go back. And you could have prevented. Okay, you leave, but next time maybe this cop has ulti and you die. But so yeah, yeah. So I want you to see the thoughts. So right now they're showing mid, mm -hmm. top heroes that can kill you. They're uh, elsewhere, mm -hmm. and so you should be at this tower already with your orb. Okay, got it. And okay. then as soon as they sense, not yeah. they stop showing, they can be TPing. So right, yeah. I want you to You're get right. out. Yeah. Okay, okay. And so, yeah, that's like, it. That's one of my bad habits. Mm -hmm. Sorry to cut you off. It's like I always just like don't want to move from where I'm, wherever I'm farming. Like, I knew they were there, um, mm -hmm. like the people there. That's why, like, afterwards, I immediately moved to the tower. But then I I've seen, like, I think Gork do it mm -hmm. where, like, he'd be farming a camp. But then as soon as, like, his lane, there's no one in the lane nearby, like, let's say he was bottom, the Monkey King, he probably mm -hmm. would just like, immediately run away and, like, pressure the tower, right? Whereas mm -hmm. I just finished the camp before mm -hmm. I uh before I move on to the uh the tower. So. Yep. Mm, I die. I'm not sure what happens here. Uh 
I was listening more to you, so... Yeah, yeah. I just rewatch it, so... You go for this. Usually mid camps are pretty dangerous to outpush. So... I thought this was an illusion, but then I saw the co -op. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's pretty sad. But as soon as they like, there is no one showing on the map. You have pretty good vision around the map, mm -hmm. so no okay. one showing here, no yeah. one showing here. So, uh, like, if they're not here, uh, somewhere here, uh, then either they're jungle here or they can be anywhere here. So yeah, exactly. Okay, I would be concerned. But I have Abaddon behind me, so I'm not as concerned. Then I see I'm dying here, then I saw just I just saw Quop here, so kinda shields you. So yeah. Just like uh, a bit better like paying attention to the minimap a bit better mm -hmm. and then you just going to get through it okay. pretty pretty easy. So, so do you it... recommend like play safe or so let's say like I saw so let, let's go back to the uh, the bottom part where I was farming the camp, right? Mm -hmm. I saw I saw Quap and Tide and Undying going yeah. on my Abaddon right there, right? Yeah. So so that was my last like time I saw them, right? Yes. So like theoretically, I I should be let's say I'm at the tower right now, right, with my vision in the mid lane. Right? Yeah. And you also and saw then, top Jack top like uh, exactly second exactly. Spell. Um. So my 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 question is like, if they're in the fog and my last destination was of them in the mid lane, and I know they can be TPing, should I just play? For the worst, like should I just play like they're gonna TP bottom, like play yes. more safe if I don't have vision yes. always? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So you're waiting okay. for them to TP. They're like okay. E either they even TP if I don't see them TP, yeah. I just play like they're gonna TP. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And you 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 just like this is usually kind of how you feel the situation. If you feel like they're going to TP like very soon, uh, then you just kind of you can stay like one second maximum. But if you just play it safe all the time. Then it's kind of fine, and then you kind of understand when you when you need to go back. Okay. Okay. All right. That that was that was just my question. Um. Yeah. So like in this situation here, as I see, um, I see Jugger top. I see Tide top. I don't see Quop top yet. I see Quop now, somewhere around now. I would just go for the tower, and then mm -hmm. I would just push it a bit. Maybe I'll take the wave. And as soon as I don't see her anymore, like right now, I don't see her. Mm -hmm. I would just right. uh, like Go start back. going back. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. she's mid now. I would just start going back right now. Going back. Okay. Okay. Somewhere around now. But uh, yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. Ju you just have to have uh, the idea, like the general Got idea. It. Yeah. So whatever. Just get. Let's just get back where we were. So. Same thing here. You you can out push if you know where enemies are, but uh, just from your you have a very good vision, like mm -hmm. this triangle, yeah. and you also had like info that they're not top. So the only thing they're either farming your your uh, their own jungle as five, or they're coming to the mid lane, or they're, they're coming to your lane. Yeah, and because you're showing like let's see it from their perspective, right? Before you died. Somewhere here. Yep. Radiant. This is an illusion. He farms here. Yeah, they see you see they're on the triangle. Mm -hmm. They kinda see you mid and they see okay, this is a sweet pie here. They just kill yeah. it. That's how they do it. Okay. Let's go further. Um So um, yeah, I you, I like your uh, build. Maybe like you know because uh, the Aghanims is kind of like farming item as well. Sometimes you just skip the maelstrom and just go straight for the eggs. But uh, sometimes you just like if you feel like uh, like this Quop has Orchid, right? They mm -hmm. have the ways to kill you. You just need to either play accordingly, like a bit safer, like. I told mm -hmm. you, like expect them to come, right. or you you kind of just go for BKB and play uh, more aggressive. Like, okay. Yeah, less afraid. So, okay, man, what the fuck happened? Let me see. So th this Dragonaut, cast your ulti. 
And then you stun the Juggernaut. Okay. If Juggernaut is playing a bit better, like, I know what happened, but he just dodge dodges it. I agree. I don't think any... Like, the only reason I feel like why I win most of these games, like, is just the enemies being t terrible. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Not, not true. You're also doing some good things, so... No, I agree. I agree. Um... Try to chase them. I would I would be concerned when going to this to this because yeah <laughs> because this is the exact reason <laughs> you're right. you're playing against Switch Doctor you just saw him going to the high ground you don't have vision you don't know what he's doing and so you have ogre here to kind of I blame my ogre for this yes 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 exactly <laughs> so you're in a very dangerous spot and you can easily die here if your uh, will doesn't help you okay I like it as soon as you kill them i want you to force the objective and here that's it, what we do yeah yeah in here it would make most sense to just go for it even i mean you know you're spending like uh, let's see so you kill this tide you don't see anyone else so you're kind of spending like uh, uh -huh. ten, 10 okay. seconds on this and you could be hitting this instead right. and uh, okay. you made them uh respawn by that time. okay okay Mm. So in theory, they could have like the correct play for them was to come contest this, right? Or... Yeah, they could be contesting this, and they tried. Right. They just they just weren't as successful, and they did. They they did save the tower. But if you start hitting it a bit earlier, like ten seconds mm -hmm. earlier, yeah, yeah, you see, like yeah, you, you I, I just agree. get it. You just get it. Yeah, with the Jinku as well. Yeah, I agree. Um. So my okay, this is a bug. So my my thing is uh. As soon as enemies are dead, you just, without hesitation, you just go on them. Like, right. go on their objectives without spending too much time. And uh, best carry players, what they would do, mm -hmm. they would, uh, they just want the fight and they're thinking about what objectives can they take. And in this position mm -hmm. here, they just lost the fight around here. So right. the tower is right here, so this is dead. This is actually okay. dead. Yeah. Okay. That would be like... Uh, uh, pro player uh, perspective okay. on this. So here, let's see what happens. You you just go on co-op. You don't see anyone else. They're kind of diving you. Co-op is dead. Tomb is here. I would just ask everyone, every one of my team, to just focus this tomb. You get stunned no, for Ravage because no one focuses the tomb. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Because Ravage, uh, like because this tomb is staying here, you cannot fight. You cannot do anything. And yeah. You, Exactly. And your your team is not allowed to fight. So if you just uh, like ping the tomb or just go for the tomb, mm -hmm. guys, you, you like... Mm, I feel like you're supposed to win this fight. If you just no, I agree. I agree. Um, it's just no one was hitting the tomb. This fight was so sad because I feel like we could have won. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It's just the tomb just fucked me. And like, I ate like a full-on Witch Doctor ulti, so... Can yeah, do Witch Doctor is scary. I, th I think afterwards, I, I, I said this like, yo, we need to make a better effort into like, kill, like actually killing the tomb. Mm -hmm. so, um. Okay, they lingered, and enemies lingered here, so kind of get killed. Over committed, and you were able to calm them. So like, right now, I have a question. So in mm -hmm. situations like this where they died, they over committed, they died. Is it okay for me to just push out top lane and farm? Yes. Or should I rather be like going mid and like taking the objectives like this is like the issue i have with my mid game i i think i generally have a decent movement in mid game mm -hmm. so but like generally in times like these i have no idea what what is like the correct play okay uh i feel like uh you should uh see it for yourself so uh i feel like this way if you could out push mm -hmm. it it i feel like you you could be able to just go to this and take it like immediately mm -hmm. Right, but if you feel like you're, uh, like for example, there is this tier one is taken, and to kill this tier two, you need to push the waves first. Mm -hmm. Then it makes just it makes a lot of sense to just uh, out push the push waves the because top. okay, yeah, because uh, waves is also a big objectives of uh, objective yeah. of data. Yeah. Okay. If you have good waves, you can make a lot of plays happen. If you don't have uh, waves out push, then anything can happen. Okay. All right, so pushing top wasn't that bad. Okay, that's fine. Um, I think I could have definitely pushed one to push the mid tower and then like go do 
something else. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. So pushing this wave is fine, I feel like, but because you have so much time to go from top to mid, you could just go right away and push it. Okay. Or at least force the uh, lift. Force retreat. Oh, force close, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, this is not that bad, but you're kind of like... Uh, not doing anything. You're, you're making their uh, uh, tower alive. You're you just okay. made the decision. Okay, this tower stays alive, and Got so it. um, so yeah. Uh, think about like how much time would it need to uh, get from from this area to this area, and yeah. or from area you are to to the objectives, and uh, then just kind of make a decision. If it's like you see like there is like they're respawning in ten seconds, each of them. Mm -hmm. This would be a very good decision to just outpush the waves because you you okay. don't have time. Right, but right. if they're okay. dead for hundred seconds and you are just going yeah. to outpush the wave, this is like yeah, this is not the best thing. Right, right, right. Okay. Okay. Got just it. get back to it. So by farming in this jungle, it's um. Yeah, I get jumped. Well, it's it's kind of. First, uh, I wanted to say, like, you are not taking, like, first of all, this is kind of their territory. If uh -huh. if you don't know if it's rewarded or not. So by farming here, um, and you know that enemies are, are not anywhere. They're, uh, so you see, you saw this jug bottom, you saw this uh, tight top. Yeah, they, they can be anywhere first, but then uh, this is not as aggressive farm. You could have taken and this is also not the safest farm for you because there's okay. no one saving you but uh, yeah that i just makes sense. Um. well it's just a post factum thing it's just my thoughts about it don't take him too much no no, no. um th the reason why i had to take those farm is because you see my ogre this is that's all he did this game mm -hmm. pushes like the opposite lane we're trying to do anything so okay. we'd be top lane and he'd be bottom lane mm -hmm. right Mm -hmm. And then we be bottom lane to do something, and he be top lane. We be roaching, he be like somewhere else. Like it's okay. like that's what Ogre did this whole game. So like, he was like the uh, the other carry. Okay. It's like I feel like uh, um, yeah, I get it. I feel like uh, if you like if you're farming here instead of Ogre, like you should you should like if Ogre is going here and mm -hmm. farming this, uh, you could just come here and tell him fuck Take off. Farm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is my farm. Yeah, okay. Because this is over. If this is like Wind Ranger out pushing the lane, then it's fine, but this is over. So yeah. right now you're going to uh, lose Roche for this. Okay, no, tier 2 tower. No, and then I, don't think we... I don't think they did Roche, but I'm not sure. They could be. Uh, they could be doing the Roche and then they're denying Roche from you. And. Mm -hmm. Until you have this BKB, you kind of need to play uh, like soft committing thing, uh, soft committing right. play style, and you don't really want to uh, come into the, into the fight. You're just playing on the edge of the fight. So in this in this game, if I know that I will need BKB, mm -hmm. you either go in Agnim's BKB or you're going Maelstrom BKB, like one okay. of those. But it just it. kinda comes from the feeling, from your feeling of the game. If you right, feel like right. uh, like that, you just go in to do that. Got it, okay, okay. So again, I feel like you should be playing like somewhere more aggressive. Like mm -hmm. this top, this uh, very hard thing to do. If you're playing bottom, you take the same farm. You also take farm from the enemies and uh, you can also pressure objectives. And mm -hmm. here you okay. have no objectives at all. I generally don't do aggressive farm as Monkey King as often as I mm -hmm. want to, just because I'm a Monkey King, you know? Like, I would, like, be there as, like, an anti-mage or a juggernaut, just because mm -hmm. I have some sort of escape, right? Okay. But, like, as a Monkey King, I, like, I'm not really inclined to do so, right? Because, mm -hmm. like, if a Quap jumps me, I'm dead. Or if yeah, a Quap jumps okay. a Jug, I can just spin, spin TP out. Yes. So that's, like, one of the, like, bigger reasons why I, like, rarely ever aggressive jungle, counter jungle, as, like, a Monkey King. Because I'm just scared to death of like someone just like jumping my ass and then mm -hmm. dying and okay, then me dying. Sure, so. sure. Um, yeah, that's uh, the playstyle would be something like, okay, you you push this wave, 
if you like if you see that they're not showing anywhere you push this wave like just this one mm -hmm. i think we pushed all the way um so yeah and uh, then you wait till if someone shows up because enemies they also need to deal with the waves yeah and if they don't show up then you just don't farm you just fall and by staying alive okay. more you're getting more farm right just okay just because you're staying alive and you're yeah not just dying. by not dying yeah, yeah. So you take this tower, I like it, you see that you, you uh, utilize this cop def, capitalizing on it, okay. What happened here? I think we fucked up here. We got the witch doctor killed. As soon as the tomb drop, I would tell my team to just go back. They trying yeah. to, uh, or, or you, yeah, other thing, you would just go for the tomb. As soon as possible. I didn't want to go for the tomb because I didn't have BKB. So. Okay, that makes sense. And I forgot. I didn't. I, I don't. I didn't like take into account like if they had ravage or not. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that would be a good thing to know. If they, if you know that they have or don't have the ravage, then uh, mm -hmm. you just kind of like yeah, you can just go in. What, right, I, right. Let me, let me, let me see. So they take the tomb. Your your ogre is kind of griefing right now. But no, no, my ogre literally. What all he did was grief. So. <laughs> <laughs> but until like the last like 20, 20 minutes or 10 minutes so okay so they commit into you jack doesn't have ulti and you kind of survive about this okay you go back yeah uh so after like i got cut i got three cut like that i would understand that okay there's some vision on the high ground so yeah going yeah. away like this makes a lot of sense also cop uh, doesn't have uh, uh she could only burst you while you tp so yeah that's a lot of sense. Yeah. That's a good play. So they just lost the fight. Uh, you know that they didn't spend Ravage. And you kind of need to fight accordingly. Like, you either uh, make the Ravage come out or you focus the important targets. In this situation, I feel like if your Wind Ranger could. Uh, yeah, your Wind Ranger is kind of like making it uh, 4 versus 5 when she focuses down the hero, like with Focus mm -hmm. Fire. Uh, mm -hmm. she either just goes for the Juggernaut or uh, Coop, uh, and makes the fight four versus five. And so you kind of mm -hmm. need to plan how the fight will go for you as a core, especially as a core. Like, how do yeah. you want to approach it? Do you want them to go on you? Do you want you to commit into them? Right. Like, what spells uh, you need to do? Maybe you cannot fight five versus five, but you can fight four versus five. And so, right. how you, can you achieve that? And yeah, when thinking about that, uh, you, like right now you're farming, you don't need to pay attention too much. And at this moment, you could think about this. Maybe you could pick off the hero, like if it would be your play to just pick off some important hero, Jug or uh, Quop, and then you kind of go for it. Or you make them rotate somewhere, like right now you're going bottom to make them come back to the base. And then. Uh, when they uh, when they rotated, you could just go for some other area of the map because right now, um, right now Rosh is up. They can play around Rosh, and yeah. So you you also need to take into consideration. Okay, Rosh is up. If you are nearby, then uh, they cannot take Rosh. But if you are not near, they they can do whatever they want. So let's see what happens here. I feel like when you jump like this, you should immediately BKB before doing mm -hmm. ult. Okay. Generally, I don't because I'm in free. I think I'm safe. But yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, you BKB it now. Kind of happy with how fight is going. You just killed two heroes. You killed third hero. Your Wind Ranger focused the Juggernaut. And you go for Rosh. Yeah, I like it. I like it. And my ogres pushes top. So. Yeah, this is like yeah. In <clears throat> you could ask him to come, but if he doesn't come, then what can you do, man? Yeah, what can you do, right? <laughs> the only good thing that happened out of this is my ogre comes out with like five items <laughs> by the end of the game. Yeah, true. But yeah, no, it's like the ogre was like griefing. 
the whole game is so fucking yeah. sad. So right now, I just want you to feel that, okay, this guy doesn't have ravage and you're stronger mm -hmm. in the fight and you can do whatever yeah. you want right now. And so you just want to force this issue as for as long as you can until the, yep. like it's 10 to 15 minutes uh, uh, till the, it's up, something like that. Okay. And when it's yeah. up, you kind of just go back prematurely. Mm -hmm. uh, I think generally how I took fights was just based around my ulti because like if i have my ulti they're not winning a single fight right now that's how i felt so like i will not i i don't think i ever took a single fight without my ulti up maybe i took one and lost mm -hmm. it but generally i didn't um didn't fight without ult. okay my, my with my ulti yeah like right now this is like one of the shitty fights that i took without my mm -hmm. ulti i definitely could have bkb'd um I feel like uh, to kind of take this tower, you need to control this area on top. Otherwise, you, your team mm -hmm. needs to stay here. Like, right. So Abaddon could save you and this guy doesn't push. So only the strongest hero push. So if they go on him, you have like only one hero to save. Because right now, mm -hmm. this Tithe Hunter can just go in without the blink and ravage you. This is not, right. not good. And because of it, well, it's kind of unfortunate. So, uh, yeah, that's what I mean by just planning how you want to uh, okay. approach it. So right. if you if your team stays here somewhere, and then Abaddon is right behind you to, like, ready to help you with everything, then you're doing the right thing. You're pressuring the tower. But then again, Tide maybe has blink. He could blink. Uh, right. Between you and Abaddon and stun him, and he's not ready to uh, kind of dispel you, and anything can right. happen. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, like, to push the towers, it doesn't take too much, but uh, a lot of preparations before it. Okay. Okay, okay. You kind of need to be prepared. Whatever. You only lost two heroes, not so much. You need to abuse that they don't have ravage now. As soon as you respawn, you have some time. You defend the high ground, Ogre defends the high ground. He helps. Kill the Undying. You like you slowly like soft committing into this fight. Like, I mean by you, your team. Right, right. They go for it. There is some vision. Yeah, okay. No, I just wanna push mid. Oh, I say mid, but Yeah, yeah, yeah. You 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 control the rune. That's fine. Yeah. Push it carefully with your... It's fine. It's okay. And right now, because enemies are not ready to protect this, you can take it. Mm -hmm. Enemies are not ready. If enemies are not ready, this is like the same thing. You're prepared for this. You're prepared. Enemies are not prepared. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm telling my ogre to just like stay with us, please. Like we're going to take top. <laughs> okay. There's, this was like one of the moments that like he actually stayed with us. So... <laughs> Yeah, that's good. Like, if your team stays uh, to the left, like this, and if this wind range has BKB, then everything is fine. I feel like you can yeah. do this. And right now, like, you have two choices. If, either you go back mm -hmm. and outpush the lanes, because your lanes are quite a bad at this point. Right. And you also get pushed by this. Uh, or if you feel like you have a lot of uh, push potential, then. Uh, you should be just going in, going high ground and forcing them back. I feel like you're, um, yeah, you kind of force them back by doing this. And yeah. right now, what you can do, just go back, out push the waves, and then like because I think someone ganked my ogre right now, so like I had to TP. Yeah, the witch doctor. Okay, witch doctor stayed. If you show yourself on the TP, be aware that your teammates can also like, yeah, die for it. Going for co-op. This Chugger spent all of his ult on you and he didn't succeed. Okay. I mean right now I feel like super strong. Like yeah, 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 that, yeah, that yeah. Chug like omnied me and then kill me, so I'm like, okay. I don't give a shit yeah, about anything. Yeah, yeah. When you got this BKB, then yeah, you you can't play like that. Before yeah, BKB yeah. you 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 should play a bit like a puss, but say so, yeah. 
So right now Jugger is dead. You kind of want to go to force the issue. At least you want to force enemies back because you you saw that they're not here. You force right. them back. Uh, you're not like you're not forced to stay. You don't need to even take this tower. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is this tower will not do uh, anything to you. Right. And uh, yeah, uh, if enemies like committing. To you, you can fight, but if enemies are just staying at the base, what you should do is to just, uh, yeah, you place ward like this here, you have ward like that here, and then you just mm -hmm. farm, you just close them at the base. Okay. And to make any move, um, they will kind of need to smoke. And if you're right. ready, like at the triangle or here, then you can do whatever you want. So right now, yeah, you see like they're slowly coming out from the base and this is like advantage you have right now. Okay. If you have Roche timer, you need to know that Roche is responding soon, or yeah, and you need to play around it as a team. Like you need to be, you need to be already here as five prepared. So uh, this if, fight was so sad. If you have like uh, the Roche timer, or something like, oh, mm -hmm. I know, 39, 40 to 42, 40. You just, you just type it in chat and say. Okay. okay, guys, go play around Roche. Roche, Roche is respawning. Okay. And then you don't have this situation where you need to go there. Right, right, right. Oh, this was so sad. I thought there were more people in the pit. That, that's why I like I ulti. Okay. Yeah, and so, like, yeah, this is, like, kind of unprepared stuff. Yeah. You are quite sad. You spend ulti. There is a tomb stain there. Everything is shit. You have no BKB, and now you kind of need to play a bit safe. I you think need... I died here, if I'm not mistaken. So. You had a pretty good ult. Uh, like on Willow. But, right. Uh, it's not... Yeah, because you have no BKB, it's pretty hard for you. Yep. Maybe you could have abyssal them, but whatever. This is like... Uh, you know, this Ooh, is... Oh, the a... Juggernaut? Yeah, but this is spontaneous. He was, he was glimmered, he was glimmered. I couldn't see him. I get it, I get it, uh, but yeah. I, I feel like, yeah, this fight is spontaneous and uh, yeah. you, you want it to make as less spontaneous as possible, as okay. as, as planned as possible, so okay. you know that Rosh is going to spawn, you play around it, and yeah, okay. you're ready for enemies to come, and you don't want these random things to happen. Got it, okay. So your item build is fine, I feel like it's good. Your Wind Ranger kind of kills the Juggernaut. He don't have Aegis. Cop has Aegis. You buy back for this. If you kill this Cop, it's worth it. If you yeah. don't kill this Cop, it's it doesn't worth it. So um, yeah, yeah. But uh, you should be careful about buybacks like this. I feel like after the uh, Shackle Shot, just to make sure you could buy back, like. Uh, Actually, I'd say that's a good buyback. Let me see. So, if you're telling your team right now, okay, guys, wait for Willow and initiate the fight. I will buy back to it. That's good mm -hmm. because you have everything ready. So yeah, I, I told my team, yo, I can buy. If you guys go in, I, I'll buy back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that. Then that's I should, I, in theory. I should buy back now, but like, yeah, I yeah, will yeah, buy back yeah. after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's that's exactly what I want to see. Yeah, I agree with this. In case they don't have enough damage, and yeah, you kill this co-op, co-op buybacks, and kind of right now, all you want to do is force buybacks and not die. Maybe they can also not fight you. Okay, mm -hmm. what the fuck is happening to this fight? He's not so happy. So this Juggernaut is not buybacking, he's going to lose racks for this. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's fine. Um. This might give you, like... If he's not buybacking, he's kind of like, right now he lost the racks, but it doesn't matter because uh, they took your racks. Right. And... Yeah, this is kind of fine. So let's see, you you sell your... Okay. Right now it's very hard to kill you. Yep. You could always identify just satanic and uh, one less strike. That was good. Right now, I'd say you need to be a very bit, uh, a bit scared. 
There is no mm -hmm. rush. You have no buyback, and uh, if anyone can die, it's your uh, in ranger because only she has buyback. Yep. Or and like all you want to do at this moment, either you stay at a good territory and you you kill like this op without buyback or this witch doctor without buyback, and then you force the problem even more. Right now, what you're doing, uh, you're going into enemies. I would not prefer this to go like this. Right. I would want to stay on some territory, but I feel like if you know that uh, you're strong enough to just go there and kill them all, then you're yeah. absolutely right. I, I generally felt I was like super strong. Mm -hmm. Um, the only like the only reason why I died in that Roche fight like before was mm -hmm. literally because of like what you, as you said like just the random like sp spontaneous movements uh, like the spontaneous uh fight mm -hmm. right um but like other than that like if i had like a good ulti or like if my team had detection that in that rush fight we win like that's how strong i felt mm -hmm. um and this is where my one rager t made the call to fucking go push throne mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i got owned by jug uh it's fine but i think we won afterwards so uh but yeah it like as soon as in that mid lane where the jug omnied me, fully mm -hmm. om omnied me, he didn't kill me. At, at that point in the game, I was like, okay, I don't give a shit about anything. I'm like super strong. Like yep. I can make these like plays and stuff, right? Yep. Require if my team has like enough preparations, right? Like if they have detection for like the glimmer cape or yep. um, if they have BKBs or like if they have initiations and stuff. Or if my Abaddon's in position to save me and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So like given enough preparation, I, I, I didn't. I was like very confident, confident in, enough in my abilities to like like win fights. Mm -hmm. So like buyback or no buyback. So that's generally how I played this game after that that mm -hmm. point in time. So, um, so I feel like uh, let's do the summary. Um, so yeah, let me let me get this. Okay, sorry. <laughs> you you see this thing. This this right. could also be useful for you. Okay. <laughs> so let, let, let me just uh, get you this. So like every game, if you just uh, focusing on improve, like you don't care about the teammate like this over, you know. You're focusing on your improvement. Uh, this will yep. not get to you. You don't care about win or loss. You don't care about bad team. You don't care about feeders. Uh, yeah, you will like. This will not get no, you. I yeah. That's generally how I do things. Like, mm -hmm. my mentality is, like, if I'm good enough, like, let's say, like, no matter what MMR, right? Mm -hmm. Except for, like, really, really high, like, your your guys' MMRs. But, like, generally, players there, like, have some sort of, like, brain. Mm -hmm. But uh, my, my mentality is, like, if I'm, like, good enough, I should be able to at least have a good game, right? Mm -hmm. Or, like, at best, like, actually solo carry them. Like, mm -hmm. if I want to be, like, a 6k or 7k player, right? Yep. And the only reason why I'm not doing it is because... I'm, I deserve to be wherever I am currently. Okay, right? like, that's a good mentality. So that's like, that's generally what my mentality is. So like, I might rage at my teammates and stuff, but that's like only at, in the game, right? Mm -hmm. I don't go after the game and be like, oh yeah, I lost because of that shit tied or like shit ogre. Mm -hmm. I generally like try to look at what I could do, what I could improve, right? Like at best, at, at, at worst case scenario, I play a good game, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, we could have won. At best, I solo carry. That's like my mentality. Okay. So like generally, if I lose the games, yeah, I ha yeah. I, there's something I could improve on, right? Like if we lost a Monkey King game, even if I won like 16 something, right? There were like a lot of things I could have improved on. Mm -hmm. Um, even if I won like 16 zero and stuff, I could have done like let's use like you said in that like mid T1, where like we won like I think two fights and we could have taken the T1 in both of those, which would have given us like better like map yeah, yeah. just like presence in the like in their jungle and and their triangle right and we did i didn't do it right I, it mm -hmm. took me like i think at two more than two fights to, like actually take that t1 mm -hmm. so so things like that are just like so, i take into consideration so so there is uh tier 7 dota asks how can you uh how can you change mentality like how did you do the do, how did you do this um I generally, I think, um, I used to always be like, oh yeah, I want to win, I want to win, I want to win. Mm -hmm. Um, but then as I hit like this, like MMR, mm -hmm. MR where I'm at, I just like, just try to play my own game. Mm -hmm. Um, it, I also have this thing where like, 
Dota is always going to be like a 50-50 kind of thing, right? No matter what game you're in, what game you go into, right? Um, so like, there are games where there's, it's just impossible, no matter who you are. Like, you can be Arteezy, you can be anyone. You just cannot carry that game, right? Yep. So like, at best, I try to do is just like, yeah, it's like that, basically. Like, right, there's 30% of the games where you yep. absolutely cannot win. Yep. And then 30% of the games where you get hard carry, right? But there, that's there's that in the middle, right? But like, what I always do is just the best thing you can do as like any as a Dota player is just stay consistent, right? If you keep on doing well, you're bound to win. Like if you mm -hmm. have if you win more than fifty percent of your games, you are bound to bound to uh, bound to increase your MMR. Yes. So my mentality is like just be stable, just improve on yourself, and like if you're a good player and like if you're like stable, if you do really well in like every single one of your games, even if they lose or they win, mm -hmm. you will generally will climb MMR. That's like my my make my take on it. So, um, okay. that's that's absolutely like this this your mentality here. Uh, this mentality here is uh, actually Kezo's mentality. Like the same mm -hmm. thing. You're you're focusing on yourself. All you're focusing on is on yourself. And if you're playing good enough. If you're playing consistent, then you're going to win. And Dota is not about playing one game good, right? Dota is about playing like all games good, kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. Um, let's see. But yeah, no, that's like I keep that into mind. Like I'm not gonna win any games. Like the best I can do is just like try to like maintain a consistent performance, right? Um. So, mm -hmm. and trying to improve on what I'm lacking, right? So, like, mm -hmm. things like watching the minimap at, like, after four minutes or, like, mm -hmm. um, being more more um, more aggressive, right? Like, as a Monkey King, I think I, I agree. Mm -hmm. I definitely could have played more in their base instead of, like, my base. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Like, I, I should have done what Ogre did, right? And then Ogre stayed at with my teammates. That's what I should have done, done, right? Things like that are, like... Small things are like what you said at like at ten minutes you would you kill their cart. Mm -hmm. I killed their cart in my lane and then TP bottom to like push with them. Like at, it's like a win win scenario. At yep. best like at best they come and defend and there's four people bottom. Yep. And I, I, and then like or we take the T one and then like I have the whole jungle like to my like I can farm there, right? I can go to to my triangle, I can farm the two camps, I can farm the lane that's gonna be pushing in. So, yep. Um, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, just let, let me show you this one game here. Uh, I was mm -hmm. uh, watching. Just get to it. Take one of those games. Uh, hey, just give me a moment to find it. It's not this one. It's not this one. This one. This one. Um, maybe it is one of these. Hmm. Nope. One sec. So I want to fight. Uh, uh, I want to find one epileptic kid game. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I'm not sure. Uh, which one is it? So I'm kind of going through my story uh, to find the match ID right now. And there is like there is a very interesting game for us to watch. I'll just yeah, yeah the session is uh, like soon to over, but I just want to uh, yeah yeah show you this because this is pretty interesting. Okay, in this game he he lost. Maybe a bit, even a bit more. So you play offlane, right? Yeah, I play offlane, but okay. I watched that game because I wanted to learn the Monkey King. Okay, the matchup? No, or... just, uh, yeah, just, uh, I felt like I'm not playing good enough as a position one when I get that role in pop, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fair. Um... So, let's see. 
Y... Maybe one of those. Okay, we could uh, we could get through like one of uh, his recent games. I feel sure. like if there is like some Monkey King games. Okay, he he wasn't playing too much. Shit. So okay. Let's get through this one. This this game he lost. Mm hmm. But still, there is like something to to see about the lane. Yeah, this is a bit different lane. This lane, they can uh, uh, enemies can be aggressive. So, think he goes uh, every game. He just goes for the stick. Stick. Okay. Sanking Rubik. Okay. Yeah, sanking Rubik, and he has a uh, green <clears throat> stroke. So he goes. That item for uh, the jingle first, kind of gets the runes. He understands that uh, he is not uh, like his team is not as strong if enemies will come. Just kind of goes back. You know, being the wall between the creeps, mm -hmm. like that's what I wanted you to do. Like being the wall. Right. <clears throat> right. Uh. Yeah, he gets, um, like, because Sanking gets the better block, kind of forced to do this kind of manipulations. Okay. Okay. Okay, even, like, he has the ancient operation. So he, you know, you see, you just, he just stays on the lane. Doesn't care too much about Sanking right now. But if he comes to the creeps, he got orb, and he's going to go on him. Okay. Got it. And right now, Asen King is not getting anything. But if he would come to the creeps, he just zoning him. Zoning him out. He understands that the wave is uh, too big and kind of uh, destroys it under the tower. He wants to pull the creeps. Doesn't, doesn't work out well. And as soon as he comes, he just hits them. And, well, this is like somehow same. Like to your matchup, your your uh, tied matchup, but uh, tied you can punish a lot more. See, yeah. Orb went of boots, and then he can okay. decide if you want to go for uh, for orb or not. Okay, that's a better. I can't get behind that item build. Um, generally, like even if I have like orb corrosion, mm -hmm. I find it hard to like chase people because they usually have boots by the time I have corrosion. Yep. So. Yeah, and so Boots gives you a lot more. So I just... Sorry. It's just like... I think I want to... I don't know how this bug works, but... Sometime in my replays, Rubik just started walking like a dog. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what the fuck is this, but this is quite, quite funny stuff. And also, there is sometimes in replays, there is... Uh, if there is lion or rasta, you might see people like being chicken lion? or frogs. Oh, uh, this, oh this, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're yeah. in armor, and this is pretty insane. But whatever. So, yeah, again, because he has boots, he can chase people down like the Sand King, which also each doesn't have boots. He went for the bottle. Mm -hmm. This is a mistake from his side. And... Okay, what do you think of? I usually go, I used to go bottle. Like, Three or four months ago, as an offlane, right? It's pretty good. Um, uh, it it just really depends on uh, your priority here. Like, okay. do you do you need to pri prioritize this or not? Okay. So, uh, some ga uh, some games I would just go bottle like first item, and it would be fine. Okay. Some games I would need to go for uh, boots. In this scenario, I feel like bottle should can be fine, uh, but uh, it's very hard. Anyways, okay. even even with. Like bottle, but uh, the idea is you want to sustain yourself before minute five, right? Here, uh, the idea behind him diving this tower is quite simple. He just uh, wants to like he understands that okay, this TA cannot really gank, 
this alchemist right. can't really answer and the only hero who can answer is this crystal maiden but maybe he saw like he had the info about her tip into some other lane so right. he just kind of dives there okay by doing this he yeah like you know dota is nothing too complicated there is like doing uh a good thing every time uh mm -hmm. doing something uh like impactful like right. with your every decision so he he tip his bottom right now because he he could have killed this uh, alchemist with the ravage yeah and this od well he could have tip it as well but uh, chances that they would kill him are a bit less also you, uh -huh. you see like he has passive yeah. three and like even have like boundless strike and one and he just okay. maxes uh, second spell because that's how he yeah, yeah. farms so there he gets the courier he plays bottom maybe because like sanking got some a lot of levels also maybe like because he, he really wanted that kill and if he got the skill he could after that just get the tower Understands that this crystal man can set up him. Kind of farms right now. He he would want the alchemist to die, but uh, his pick is a bit bad. You like? Yeah, that that might be also another reason why he would want to rotate, because he doesn't uh -huh. want to stay against the sanking. The sanking is very yeah. strong against monkey king. Like later on. Okay. He uses his catapult, he tries to save it until his teammates are coming. And now when his team comes, uh, he just pushes it, pushes it. Even TA comes. Well, yeah. This is kind of like not the best thing, but uh, at least he forced enemies to be there. And right now he can do whatever he wants. So generally it's just... Is it? So I'm. Uh, I think this is an obvious answer, but um. Uh, just, so just you, aside from aside from the mid tower, which mm -hmm. is like the best tower to get the mm -hmm. mid T one, like bottom, like if you're, so getting the enemy safe lanes tower is just better. Like don't even give a shit about like your, your lanes tower essentially. Like the your like the off lanes tower, off lanes enemy tower. Yeah, off lane like, enemy you, tower just yeah. If you want to see this, so this tower gives you like at least two camps and entrance to the jungle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, this tower, well, it gives you only entrance to the jungle, no camps. It just makes enemies, like, uh, push potential, like, they would need to TP here instead of here. But usually, just not so much space okay. it gives you. Okay, okay. Mid tower, um, it's a good source to just kind of TP somewhere to, from mid. Yeah. You can access any side of the map just from mid tower. Yeah. And it's also, like, uh, hardest one to defend. Because enemies can also like defend it from different sides, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and this okay. is the shortest lane, so creeps would meet each other uh, early enough. And so if you push it like from here, uh, someone would will need to show. And so if you take this early, you would like see some enemies just coming here, out pushing the wave, mm -hmm. and uh, this will give you the idea of where they are. Okay. So yeah, and same here, same like, they just a lot of distance, and here you can make uh, make some place around. So yeah, definitely something like that. Hope I answered your question. Basically, had like thoughts similar too, like. Just bottom getting the bottom tower in this game just like opens up those two camps and the jungle. So yep, yeah, 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 yeah. And mid tower, like yeah, the yeah, the further in the game, like you get it, the f like harder it is because enemies will be like higher level. They'll be ready yep. to defend it, and yeah, the earlier you get it, the you don't you won't need to deal with it later on. Got it. Okay. Okay, um, do you have any other questions? Uh, generally, no. I think my biggest issue right mm -hmm. now is mm -hmm. just laning stage. 
Um, like in all three of my Monkey King games, which I don't think we, which we're, we're time's already up. I, we can do it in another session. Um, you okay, yeah. I feel like uh, uh, we will see similar mistakes, kind of. Yeah, exactly. I think my biggest issue is just laning stage. Um, okay. Like in all three of those games, I could have, like, like um, won my lane harder. Essentially, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I did some really dumb mistakes as well. In my last game, I I think I double I killed them. I killed the Phoenix. Was Phoenix what lane was it? Was Phoenix Tusk? Mm -hmm. Um, we we killed them like two times, and then I proceeded to just feed. Okay, <laughs> like two times as well. So. Uh, if you if you struggle with uh, going through like one of those lanes, yeah, this one, right? So yeah. if you struggle about the ending stage, what you could do is to join the Dota Pro Tracker Discord server, and then there's uh, this thing. I will also show it on the stream. So here, uh, on this server, what you could do is to ask for a certain matchup. For example, matchup Monkey King versus Underlord. Mm, okay. And then you'll get something like this. Okay. Uh, I'll show it as well. So something like this you'll get. Okay. The matchups were, yeah, Brood on certain lanes, Phantom Lens on certain lanes, and then you just kind of want to figure out what lane you want to see through. And then if it's like out of played matches, you'll get a lot more stats. But yeah, it's kind of okay. like I, I I used to do this with. There's this a website called um, Dota Mastery IO, mm -hmm. where it's just like you can just select like matchups. Mm -hmm. um, so I used to do that a lot and just watch replays of like, I think it was like it's at high MMR, not not necessarily pro players. Mm -hmm. So I just watch what they did. Yeah, you you could definitely go and do that. Yeah, um, for sure. That that's cool. Yeah. So like my biggest issue is laning stage because I think mid game wise, I honestly feel like mid. My mid game movements is enough for me to like climb mm -hmm. pretty decently. I'm I'm already winning like a couple like my like last like five games, mm -hmm. um, and I'm doing well too. I'm not like getting hard carried. <laughs> okay, for sure. Uh, yeah. So like my biggest issue is leaning stage, which I'm probably just gonna watch like replays. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, this see, be... okay. One more question, I guess. You're not a player, player but like. You play offlane, so you have to like get general knowledge of like. So like, where are the, like the best carry, carry heroes right now? So um, sure, I will get you the exact uh, stats right now. Like, I'll send it into Discord. Okay. Something like this. Uh, I feel like you could add uh, morphing here. Would be a okay. good carry. Troll, Wraith King, Monkey King, Jug sometimes. Yeah, they're the best carries right now in this patch. But there are a lot of carries you could use in okay. this certain patch. Because there is, uh, yeah, a lot of viable heroes. Wraith King, huh? Huh. Is Wraith King? Why is Wraith King so good, I guess? Mm. Is it because of his crit? Um, yes, and also because of uh, the skeletons, how fast he farms, or how, how, like, it's about his ability to give uh, your allies position because of two lives and oh, okay. there is like not so many viable heroes against him on the offlane right now like tight hunter alchemist um yeah he pretty much stays against everyone okay uh, all right there are some heroes that counter him like tight hunter and timber soul alchemist mm -hmm. maybe but other heroes they just not as good and he's just he just chills on the lane does whatever you want mm. yep yeah that's about it i think the rest are just like i can just like do it on my own um but yeah i think i think the biggest takeaway is just like the 10 minute mark or you know generally just like trying to push the bottom tower or like the mm -hmm. enemy's safe lanes tower um and you know after like a win fight my my thought process should always be which objective that I can take, whether it be Roshan Towers or like, 
or just or outpush the waves. like waves yeah yeah, yeah or yeah. just waves um okay yeah. yeah i think the next time i don't know what when, when, when's because i still have one more <laughs> hour with you but i think it's going to be offline but yeah uh, for sure we could do this uh i can tell you a lot about both things I, I don't have any offline a lot of, i only have two offline games one's a one's a beastmaster which i lost um mm -hmm. the other one's a void spirit which i got hard carried in so like there's not a, there's not a lot of like info that we can go mm -hmm. go on so i'm probably gonna like before like our next next session mm -hmm. probably gonna put like a couple offline games into it and then we can go from them i think mostly it's just laning stage and i i guess for offlane my biggest issue is also my my macro like i don't know when to like mm -hmm. not to like take take your not to take a lot of your time but like, in that beastmaster game there was this one fight where i think they were all top pl just immediately went to jungle as soon as i hit five mm -hmm. right um these afk jungle and so my team was 40 for fighting top and i couldn't decide whether i should push my the safe lane tower or go help them top lane I think that was like my issue. So like offlane general with me is also laning stage, um and and also like what I should be like my decision making mid game too. It's not as like easy as carry. Mm -hmm. So okay, um, yeah. well, I would I could just uh, there are some heroes who don't want to rotate. If you mm -hmm. want to stick to the stream, uh, and I will just I will show right now the game of Nigma where. There is hero like Beastmaster, like exactly hero like Venomancer, a bit, you know, a bit different, but uh, the idea of him is the same. So yeah, okay. if you would want to stick to the stream and uh, watch through it, yeah, you could find it maybe useful. And, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I definitely will. Um, yep. See. Other than that, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Oh yeah, no, I, I definitely learned a lot. Um, honestly, like. How do I put this? I, I I always thought like coaching as like the center of like not really say scam, but like a lot of people can live without it. Be be good without it. For sure. I feel. For like, sure. Because I because like one of the biggest things you can do, and I I've done this up until now, right? Mm -hmm. Um, it's just watch like a better player, like and watch what they do, or like just copy down what they do. Yes. Right? That's always what I've done in my entire like my like ten thousand hours play, playing this game, right? Mm -hmm. And. I, it showed consistent like, improvements. When I was when I wanted to play Mirana offlane, I just watched like five to six S four games mm -hmm. where he just played offlane, and then I just did what he did, and like I kept winning games and stuff. So like I, you know, it, I think coaching definitely has its merits, right? Like a lot of times it's a lot really helpful to have like your guys' thought process. Um, mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Because like you know, watching pro players play is good and all, but I I don't know what they're thinking. Right? I'm just copying what they're doing. So, yeah. Uh, let's yeah. see. And with your uh, with your uh, ability to analyze, like if you're just watching the games, you're first of all you're passively learning, right? Mm -hmm. And then yeah. second thing, you're also uh, you're also doing. Uh, you could start analyzing the things and then yeah okay. for sure you could do this all of this on your own like yeah there is no doubt on it but uh, yeah sometimes like opinion from the side will decide if you're going further or not okay yeah yeah Both. that's that, that's about it um i saw i'm not sure if that guy's flaming me but um all right nah, i'm taking nah, too nah. much he's, of your time <laughs> he's he's flaming me he's flaming no, I'm not me flaming. He's flaming like if he flames someone, he's flaming me for sure. Okay, okay. Because okay. I'm coaching too much. All right, yeah, no, that's fine. Um, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, let's see, I'm probably just gonna play a couple more games. Yeah, we'll go talk ahead, when I once I hit.